Oh hey, what's up guys? Sean from Window 10 Warriors here. Just another day in the life. We are busy, extremely busy. Right now we're gonna be working on this Dodge Ram. We're doing Chameleon windshield and I'm just laying out the uh, white vinyl tape here so that we don't cut the glass. Just checked my tint whiz this morning. I have about five back-to-back -back appointments this morning. I cut my day a little short. I have some personal stuff to take care of after work, but of course everyone else that comes in soon will be working here all day long. It's like Can Jam. We have the International Window Film Conference coming up that is next month in September. Me and Ernesto will be there for a day or two, nothing too crazy. So this customer came in, they had a windshield strip installed already by another shop and they decided they want the chameleon windshield. So we're gonna remove the strip, remove the stickers, install the chameleon film and then reinstall a new windshield strip. I guess I have to match it to their upward curve that they got here, which we'll be able to do in Expel. Do, 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 do. It's like watching paint dry but trying not to break the glass at the same time. While we're watching this paint dry, make sure you check out the Windleton Warriors Instagram. Put it on the screen, like right here, right across my face. <laughs> the sticker's delaminating a little bit. Uh, it's inevitable to happen, but it looks like we're getting the majority of it off. Usually these commercial inspection stickers uh, delaminate 100% and you can't use them again. Chameleon film right here. I know we're gonna need about 65. 65, a bow. Customers love this chameleon film. If you guys wanted to buy this chameleon film, you can on windowtintsupplies.com. We sell it in partial pieces. We don't have any full rolls in stock right now, but when you're watching this video, there may be. So check the link down below. It shrinks very, very easy compared to other chameleons. It's very easy to work with. It's still extremely thick, but it's not hard to shrink. Unless you don't know how to shrink window film, then that's another category or subject of conversation. Definitely not your film that you should be practicing window tint with. So here at, uh, at the shop, we use obviously use Tint Whiz, and they added this new feature called Documents where after a customer accepts a proposal or whatever part of the timeline that you wanna use it, you can do like disclaimer or release of liability documents, like type it up on there, send it to a customer, and they digitally sign it, kind of like you would sign an Adobe uh, PDF digitally. They just added that feature and it's awesome because you can send release of liability when you're doing paint protection film or window tinting, and you have that all, it's, it's all, online it's all digital so you don't have to print any papers or have anyone sign anything just wanted to share that with you guys it's an awesome feature if you're not already using tint whiz or if you are already using tint whiz definitely check that feature out you never know when something's going to go wrong and if you have the proper document signed and reviewed by the customer then uh, it gives you peace of mind i'm going to very carefully cut camera area out the tape wasn't laying properly when i was laying it down around these curves because the dryer sheet was actually still wet so you can't lay tape on water because it was not going to stick so if you ever cutting directly on the glass just be careful not to push too hard and be generous with the fact that the glass is soft and can be cut ernesto you want to do some uh some b-roll of me doing this really fast so we can get this done all right i'm a little injured right now i got impaled by a piece of glass this past weekend so I'm gonna move as fast as I can without breaking some stitches. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> My arm is going numb. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna. Who wants to win another Amazon gift card? Less than 15 minutes remaining. Let's do another one of those Amazon gift card giveaways. Simply just type in, in the comments down below, powered by tint whiz or so put that on the screen right there so they don't mess it up if you misspell it or don't put all the wording uh you actually disqualified so powered by tint whiz i'm gonna give you guys a chance to win a 200 dollars amazon gift card again because i love being generous and helping people out there is going to be another step to enter for your chance to win so make sure you keep watching whenever i reverse roll my technique is to roll it up I'll spray the outside and wipe the dryer sheet off. So I'll always keep the towel on the passenger side hood. That way I can just go like this, put the wiper down. Sorry, my real estate agent is texting me. Building a house. When you bust your buns for 13 years nonstop, 
you definitely deserve to buy something nice, right? And then you have to work your ass off even more just to not be broke after that. All right, all clean. We got to take this strip off and we got to put a uh, Windows 10 Warrior soak rope across the bottom so make sure we don't damage any computers. Soak it up. You gotta soak it up. Don't you know? Soak it up. What I'm using here is a paddle. It's basically a scrubber without the Velcro pad from windowtillsupplies.com. We'll go ahead and cover the area up with a towel. Surprisingly, also from windowtillsupplies.com. Cowboy boots gotta go. Izzy, take these down. For some reason, this style of cover on this Dodge Ram, I haven't figured out how to get this plastic piece. If anyone watching is taking this off before, it seems like something's attaching it right here. You can drop the whole unit down to get the tint behind, but it's really hard to get this piece of plastic off for some reason. I don't quite get it. I just let it sit right there. So when I go install the tent, you can slide it right behind there. <laughs> Very dusty in here too, so we have to pay attention to making sure we wipe around the perimeters. For you. Ew. Oh my goodness. Oh, hey, coffee sip. The worst thing is doing all this work, shrinking the window, cutting it out, all that good stuff, and then you slap it on and there's a piece of glue. It's all in the prep. These new Dodge Rams with this big mirror area, it's really kind of a hassle, especially when you got accessories mounted on the top of the dashboard. It's like doing a back window. Someone watched one of my reverse roll videos the other day and they're like, bro, you put the tint on backwards, blah, blah, blah. Like, watch it again, buddy. It's called reverse roll for a reason. Okay, got about 16 inches of material, unrolled. Release liner is rolling onto the back of the film. I like to get down below the mirror. I'll lay the sides, or the windshield down on the sides of the mirror and pull this liner off. That way we can get this to lay nice and flat onto the glass. And then we'll go around the mirror, tack it down to the bottom, pull the liner, pull a little bit more, and then here I'm going to try to position the film under this plastic here, so that we can then go to the right, all the way under the plastic, pop it off if we have to. No light gaps. No big air pockets. If you're doing one of these windshields, cut it nice and tight to the dot matrix, maybe even slightly into the dot matrix because you may have alignment issues because the tint will hit the glue and keep popping it out. You guys know how to do this. You're just watching for fun, right? Before I do the strip, I'm gonna just pull that other car in over there just so the customer knows it's inside and we're getting started on it. I don't like to make people wait too long because if I was there in their position, I would be like, what the heck, why aren't they starting my car yet? It's 11 minutes past my appointment. It's all about being courteous. And while I do that, that'll give this film some time to dry up a little. Fast, we'll cut the windshield strip. I feel like you gotta like epoxy this thing into there. They don't manufacture it with it together, so if you let go of it too fast, it just falls out. The strip that he had on there was actually like this. So in Expel, we can take this pattern, go like this, layer it over the windshield, click both of them, do a path merge, intersect, okay, and bam, look at that. You got yourself a crazy cool windshield strip. Nothing like running behind. But it's been so hard to do these entertaining videos for you guys because we have so much stuff going on here. You know, when you run an extremely successful window tinting, paint protection film, ceramic coating business, which if you guys want to learn more about the uh, auto film business, check out Auto Film Mastery, now partnered with Window Tint Warriors. Check that out down below. Put a little QR code like right here. You scan it yet? Okay, cool. We got some cool in-person seminars, 
conventions, conferences, and training sessions coming up. So always check that out and you'll learn how to become successful like us. Usually day in the lights aren't this educating. Bonus session, air peel, Dean Mitchell style. Sorry. Slap this up here, line it up. Tint sticks to tint a lot quicker than it does to glass. So move quick if you're doing tint on tint and squeegee it out quick. Once you get that initial tack, it is stuck. We made it a little bit bigger than the last one he had because he requested that. So always do or go above and beyond to make the customers happy. Quickly. Then we'll start this truck up with the AC or heat running. Usually when people hear their truck or a car get started, they hop up out of their seat. Oh my God, it's not a game. Push out the edges on the strip and be on to the next one. Always make sure your edges are sealed up perfectly before your customer leaves. Last thing you want to do is have a phone call saying you got to touch something up. And if they're not able to come back right away, it could sit for too long and actually cause you to have to redo the windshield or whichever window it may be. So always take the extra time, no matter how much you're running behind, to make sure everything is tacked up. We're doing 20 over this factory glass. This window actually got broken. It was actually tinted already by us, so we're just doing it again. Very quick and easy window. Oh, hey. <laughs> Jason, you just want to be in the video, don't you? He's like, I could scrub the floor, but let me get the mop. It'll take me longer. I'll get a better shot at getting in the camera frame. Very humid out. Humidity causes everything to be a little sticky. <laughs> Once I'm done with tint today, I got to hop on PPF and help that car get out of here. All shrunk up. Oh, I put five over it. I was supposed to do 20. It happens. Next hands-on training, uh, they gotta check windowtintsupplies.com. It'll be on there. If you wanna learn hands-on window tinting, if you don't, then just keep watching the videos. I appreciate that as well. Hopefully they're entertaining enough for you guys where if you're not a window tinter, you're like, oh, I don't wanna watch this just because it's funny and they do stupid shit at the shop all day. Well, we don't really do stupid shit, but you know, like funny stuff, entertaining. And then you have the people that want to learn window tinting where they watch my videos to get bits and pieces on slowly learning window tint themselves just by watching these. Or maybe people just watch it to get the free Amazon gift cards. Now is the perfect time for the second step of the Amazon gift card giveaway. Another $200 Amazon gift card giveaway. Make sure you did the first step and then I'm gonna shrink this first. The next step is gonna be to scan this QR code right here. Make sure you fill that form out and that'll be your final part to entering for the $200 Amazon gift card giveaway and we'll do it the same way as last time. The next day in the life, we'll do a random picker with the comments, verify that you filled up that form that was on my shirt and then we'll call you. Enough with the free stuff, let's get this window on. We're doing that spray squeegee spray. I like to mist up both sides of the film to eliminate static. And on she goes. Oh! We'll get them rung up and on to the next one. Woo. But first, Tint Wiz coffee. I'm waiting for the day that Eric from Tint Wiz sends me some Starbucks. He's never sent us Starbucks. He, everyone else, he sends Starbucks. Uh, now watch, he's gonna send a big ass box of coffee. Be careful what you wish for. Face, come on. Next car we got is an F350, two fronts and a windshield strip. 10 minutes. I love these trucks. Mucho fácil. <laughs> Secret. It's like being able to kill someone with two fingers. 
I can pull your car apart with no problems. So I'm gonna do it in two fronts on this and a 5% windshield strip. Let's get it done. Where's my spray bottle? Did I leave it in that last car? No way. I'm bugging. You didn't see it either. <laughs> the camera will prove this one. Was it there or did it just pop up? You didn't see it there either, right? No. What? Oh my God. <laughs> I just felt weird for a second. It feels like I teleported, but I don't think I did. Maybe I teleported into the same spot. I thought when we changed the soap, I didn't do that anymore. Go time! So we got in Tint Wiz here. Lots of Tint Wiz today, man. If it wasn't for this, I'd be very unorganized. I got two Tint Wizes open. Actually three and four and five, six on my phone. What does that say, 20% CS? XR, the salesperson is doing her job. Bigger on the right side with the cutout. They look the same, but this one is equal. This one's more on the right side. This is the one it is. We're gonna create a custom strip, draw a rectangle where we want that strip to lay, select the two, path merge, intersect. Can't do it because too many things are selected. Intersect, there we go. And we can fit this on a 20 inch roll. This XR 20% actually matches the factory back window color a lot better than most other manufacturers' window film does. It's a good selling point for customers too. They get ceramic and they also get a film that matches their factory tinted windows. So there's not a big difference between the back and the front. Cue the elevator music. Spray, squeegee, spray, then lay. Very humid out today, so this tint is reacting in a way that makes it a little bit more sticky than it usually would be. It's just something you just have to get around when you're in different environments. The next vehicle, we got a brand new Grand Cherokee L. We got to do two fronts and the sunroof on, panoramic sunroof. And then after that, we have a BMW Grand Coupe. We're gonna do all sides and rear on. And then after that, we're gonna jump on that Honda Civic with Tom and get that PPF out of here today. It's gonna full front, rocker panels, eight pillars, six inch portion on the roof, and of course the mirror caps. And then after that, I'm going to look at the land where my new house is being built. And then after that, I'm going home and I'm working on some amazing art for you guys to purchase. And then after that, oh, look at all that dirt. That is not acceptable. Where did that come from? It probably hit up here. Second window I've messed up today. What's going on, Ernesto? When you make a mistake, just redo it, get it done, make the customer happy. Don't put out crappy work, keep your reputation high, and just eat the cost of your mistake. Things happen. We're human, we're not computers, we're not robots, and even robots make mistakes. This computer crashes all the time. <laughs> You know why it crashes all the time? Because it was put together by a human. If a computer put the computer together, it would be no problem. Take me away. Definitely hit that top piece up there. This one was all full of dirt. And I pulled it in this corner. There we go. See this like staining on the door panel from the soap? It's not a permanent stain. It's just from the piece being wet. When it dries, that completely goes away. It's just the baby shampoo. No more boo-boos. On to the next. So if you're pulling the gaskets out in the Ford, I usually spray some spray away in the channel of the gasket. I'll pull the panel back, it'll lubricate it so it slides on very nicely. Get it down there and quick motions. Make sure this pin goes back in the hole. Curl it on top. Bada bing, bada boom. Perfection. This windshield strip's gonna be two pieces, so it's gonna make it a little easier. Woo. Yeah. We're gonna use a scrub pad. We don't wanna scratch this glass if we don't have to. Use my hand to check for any adhesive residue. Perfection. Next up is a Grand Cherokee L 2022. 
We're doing CS20 on the two fronts and XR20 in the sunroof. Why didn't they just do both the same? We got Jason in the waiting room waiting for his car. What are you getting, 5% on all sides and rear? Filtered water. All right, those of you that are watching that entered already for the Amazon gift card within this video, I'm gonna give you a chance to do a double entry, two entries max. So if you guys made it this far and you're watching and you're not just watching for that Amazon gift card, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. If you comment right now, down below, Window Tint Warrior. Comment down below, Window Tint Warrior. We'll use the Window Tint Warrior and Powered by Tint Wiz as the two keywords, allowing two entries to win that $200 Amazon gift card. Do it now. Comment right now, I'll wait. Window Tint Warrior, submit. Cool, thank you. Make sure you like and subscribe to the video too. That is required. Sticky, sticky, sticky. We're gonna use our little whizzler. Push out this top edge corner. Powered by Tint Whiz. Whizzle out imperfections. We don't have any, so we're just gonna use it to whizzle out the edges. Oh my God. Oh my God. After I do this window, we'll do a quick demo on the sunroof, how I install it. I shrink it from the inside so I don't shrink it on the outside with the pre-cuts. And then that'll probably be it for this day in the life. I got a lot of other things I gotta quickly and efficiently do. In and out, sauerkraut. I didn't win, but I'm glad that the people did win one. You wanna do it again next time? That was a good time. All right, when I do sunroofs, I put the seats all the way forward and I work from the back seat. I put a towel over the two front seats so nothing on the front gets wet. Get this up. We take this towel, put it under the visors here. We get protection of the front. We're not gonna use the razor on these. Scrub them up really good with the scrub pad. Looks like there's already scratches on this glass. Good thing I didn't use a razor blade, so we don't have to be blamed for that. They look like they're on the outside though. We we'll do our spray squeegee spray. We did cut these patterns sideways. So if we're gonna shrink any fingers, they gotta go side to side rather than front to back. Skills. So our front end has big rounded edges. So we are holding it the right way. Get it up in the center. It's tacking up very fast. The tricky thing about sunroofs is you want to make sure that you're pretty much 100% lined up before you start going crazy squeegeeing. They do tend to shift a lot on you. And we're going to shrink sideways, so we're going to gradually work this down. Give a little bit of a light gap. Sunroofs are usually really tight with their alignment. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull it down about three quarters of the way. A bit more soapy water. We have the whole front end protected so there's no water getting up there. And we're going to do the same thing with this front edge here. Not a big deal, it's just got to be careful not to get contaminated. And we can now reposition without any light gaps. We've got to try to be as perfect as possible. Obviously nothing's perfect, but if we can get close to it, more power to us. And then we got to shrink these fingers. Heat gun on high. Great lead go. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> That's it. So sunroofs, you can shrink them on the outside. It makes it a lot easier. But if you got enough room on the inside, slap them on, wet shrink them on the inside, and at the same time, you're sealing the perimeter. So you're killing two birds with one stone. You don't gotta wipe the outside of the windows if you're doing pre-cuts. If you're cutting it on the outside, then you're going to shrink it on the outside because you already got it out there. But if you're doing the pre-cuts, this is the best way to go. You don't have to wipe the outside of the window or anything like that. You don't have to lay the film out there and we're sealing up the edges at the same time as we're shrinking it. Hey. 
pattern does seem to be a little bit bigger than it needs to. There's some bunching up going on, but it's the name of the game. Fit it in there as nice as possible. Squeeze it out. If we gotta trim anything excess hanging over, we can definitely do that. Oof, he's a squirter. <laughs> Sides are all sealed up. Make sure you have no drip marks on the interior. Remove the drapings and bam, bam. We're done with these. On to the next few appointments that I have, but we're gonna have to cut it there. I'm getting all discombobulated. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you guys win that $200 Amazon gift card. I'm voting for you. Yeah, you watching right now. But at that, see you in the next day in the life. Good luck to everyone and get to work. Oh my god, it's not me.